Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Jedi Knight Edition, and we are once again joined by Lana Benico, as we are going to make our way on to Rendezvous with HK55, and as we can see, we have a bunch of different people actually doing the quest as well. So, let's head on here and see what's actually going on. Wait a minute, what do I do? Ah, there it is, the Rendezvous Beacon. Please, save us. HK, explain. Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They've requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We're repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. The path ahead of us is not a safe one. They might be better off here. No one could be better off here. Oh, did you see that? Lana disapproving. Well, I would expect her to do no less, considering she is technically a Sith, even though she is very unemotional. She's almost like a Jedi. I'm, I'm actually unsure what's going on with that. I mean, she makes some very strange choices, I have to admit, and her attitudes towards certain things are quite strange too. But nevertheless, we get to speak to our favorite droid once again. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
Oh yes, it's a montage. It is a montage. And the best part? The best part of the montage? Do you know? Do you know what it is? I think you do. I think, well, technically, I personally feel like the best part is HK, of course. I mean, he is basically the star of that montage. I mean, do you see that? Amazing comic relief right in the center of a very serious situation. Of, oh, well, technically, it's not a very serious situation because, well, it's a montage. How can you be serious in that? Well, I suppose we were working very hard and Zaylin was, well, screwing some nuts and bolts into place and basically that was it. Everyone else was doing a lot of extra work, but apparently that is all he's able to do. I, I suppose he's quite mean with a screwdriver or something like that, but yes, whatever the case, we now need to investigate the strange whispering sounds down in the depths of the gravestone and I can only assume... We know who it is. I take it you have questions. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. Did you guide us here? The real question to ask is... Why? Are we here? You have had a taste of my son's empire, his reach, and Valen. She does not believe in respect. We can only defeat Arkham if we work together. You sound like you know how to accomplish that. I know aspects, but an unknown factor remains at the center of it all. You. You must be willing to accept my help for what it is. And you will have to come to this acceptance sooner than you think. Get ready for a fight, people! They found us! Sky Troopers breaching the entrance! Well, some very mysterious sayings from Valkorian there, but yes, we can't really do much other than take our... Oh, yeah, yes, my inventory. Don't even look at it. It's a monstrosity. Ah, oh, absolutely awful. I'm going to need to sort that out at some point because that new item that we just gained, I think that was an earpiece or maybe an implant or something, that is a lot better than what we currently have. So, yeah, we're hopefully going to get to using that soon. But for now, we are being interrupted by some Sky Troopers. I'm not particularly happy about the Sky Troopers, I have to say. Oh, yes, no. Uh, it's the start of a very long and arduous relationship with those guys because, really, they are the scourge of the galaxy, in my opinion. They are even worse than basically every bounty hunter and hut and Sith and basically every unsavory character put together because even though they are droids and they are programmed to do just what they are programmed to do, they are still incredibly irritating because they're going to turn up basically everywhere, aren't they? I mean, ugh. Oh. If you've seen Zane Ash's adventures, then you know, you definitely know that that is the case, and uh, yes, it's not particularly good, is it? Hey! Watch the ship! That's just the first wave. They have more on the way. I'll hand them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need... Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. I'll get us airborne. I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help Koth. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. 
Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I really wish we were taking HK on this little expedition, but for now, I will be ending this episode off here, and next time we will be fighting to the Gravestone's entrance, and no doubt taking out thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions of Sky Troopers. Yeah, probably not that many, but still, it feels like that. Okay, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.